Good morning, everyone. My name is Julie. I am the owner and founder of Lady Valtai. You are either watching this video on my YouTube channel or my Facebook group, which are both called Lady Valtai's Light Healing. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about um, painting crystals, uh, decorating crystals, things of that sort. Before I do get started, I really just want to smudge real quick. Just take a second here. I did put a post up in the event. Um, this video will be posted in the event later today. Um, but I did put a list up of things that you might want to gather. Um, and so I'll go over some of those things in just a second. But I did put a post up there. I did put a post of um, to Amazon. Uh, so I don't get anything for making these sales. Um, I put a post to Amazon um, for some selenite discs and I put a post on there for some of the little paint tools um, that I will be using. Uh, so those are there for you if that's something you're interested in. Like I said, it goes to Amazon. I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I don't make any sales or commissions or anything off Amazon. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, painting crystals, decorating crystals, the different things you could do, um, why you might want to do them, all that good stuff. So um, the crystal that I'm going to be painting today is selenite. And so I did want to just take a second here. Um, I just have um, crystals for beginners, so it's um, not real in-depth. Oops, I pulled out the wrong card. I've got cards marked all over the book here. There we go. So um, this is just telling me um, selenite. So I just wanted to look at that real quick and go over it with you. Um, so I had to take my glasses off to read it. <laughs> um, selenite is um, it's a protecting stone. Um, it helps clear negative energy. Um, that's the biggest thing that most people want selenite for is because it can clear negative energy. For example, I'm going to kind of do a little show and tell here. Um, I bought this piece. I don't have enough hands. I need a third hand. Let me put the bookmark back in here so I don't lose my place. So I bought this piece of selenite. As you can see, it's a pretty good size piece. Um, and this is for clearing um, for people. So I wanted a really nice big wand. Um, so if somebody came to me and wanted a clearing um, of themselves, I would use this. And so I start at the top of their head and just, you know, kind of scan their whole body with it. I have them step over it. I do the back of them, down their arms, their sides. And, and it clears any negative energy that they might be having. So this is one piece of selenite. If you are wanting to clear um, negative, negative energy from a, a being, a person, you can use it on pets and stuff too. Um, it's not limited to just people, but if you're looking for one to clear a, a person, this is the size I would recommend because uh, if you have just a little teeny piece, and you're trying to cleanse a person, it, it may take <laughs> a little bit longer. Um, this piece, you know, you can scan somebody. I mean, it's not like I don't rush through it. I don't mean that. But, um, you know, I, t I take my time and I, I start at the top and I scan fairly slowly. But you can see that does pretty much most of my body, you know, um, it pretty much gets shoulder to shoulder. Um, but then when you would come back and do the sides, you know, so if you had a small piece, you might have to be doing it multiple times. So a little sidetrack, but I did want to educate you about selenite um, at the same time. So I didn't want to just come in here and just like, we're going to paint a crystal. Uh, I wanted it to be a little bit educational as well. So if you're looking to do clearing of negative energy on people or um, animals, pets, things of that sort, 
um, I suggest getting a nice big selenite wand. Um, this one cost me, I don't remember if it was $12 or $14. Um, like I said, uh, Amazon, it, um, there's some postings on there for selenite for small pieces where people are asking like $25 and $30. Don't pay that. Shop around a little bit. Selenite is not super expensive. Um, so, like I said, I got this nice, big, beautiful piece. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, and I think I paid $12 or $14 for it. So, um, just beware when you're shopping for them. Um, to not overpay, because they're not super expensive. People sometimes think that if they need to get a big crystal, it needs to cost them $30, $40, and it does not. Uh, like I said, I paid like $14 for that one. All right, so um, um, the other thing it's really good for, um, like I said, is cleansing negativity. Um, you can also use it for cleansing an aura. Um, to me, again, you would want the, the bigger wand there, but um, when you're cleansing someone, I don't necessarily think you have to tell the selenite if you're clearing negative energy or their aura. I think if you're clearing, it's it's clearing. Um, so, um, and it's really good for um, clearing your other stones. So, um, I know a lot of people come to me and say they, they just got a crystal and they want to clear it, uh, but they can't. Uh, they either live in an apartment or they have kids or animals or whatever the situation is. They can't burn things. And so um, selenite is a way you can clear your crystals as well. You can just wave the selenite over them or you can set the crystals on top of them. Um, again, there's really not a whole lot of right and wrong on there. It's just, um, just to have them together all right um the other thing i wanted to mention is it does damage fairly easy um it i put it back up here i don't know i don't have my glasses on so i can't tell but i think you can kind of see what there's like grains in it um like uh, this end see how there's like some pieces here if if i dropped that or banged that those pieces could very easily um just chip off i'm not sure if you're seeing it see how there's like some pieces up here that are right here if i banged that i mean if i drop this onto a floor from a high enough distance it would probably just shatter. So selenite is pretty, um, I won't necessarily say delicate, but um, it damages pretty easily. All right, now I put my glasses back on. I'm going to go back to the book. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention about selenite is um, it will dissolve in water. So there, again, people have asked me about clearing stones and um, again, if I if they can't burn something or, um, you know, spray something or whatever, um, another thing that I have advised is you can put them in water. Or if you run water over them, um, that is clearing. There are a few stones that you would not want to do that with, and selenite is one of them. It will uh, uh, break down in water. It's not like you're going to put water on it and it's going to dissolve and disappear. But if you continuously had it in water, it would eventually start to dissolve and break down. So, um, but selenite is a stone that is clearing naturally. So it's not one that you would need to worry about clearing it. So if you just got, a, excuse me, if you just got a new piece of selenite and brought it in to the house, you wouldn't really need to worry about um, clearing it because it's an all clearing stone. That's all it does all the time. Um, so it doesn't hold on to that negativity. It just clears it away. Um, so you really wouldn't have to worry about um, clearing or cleansing it. So you wouldn't really have to smudge it or um, anything like that. But I did want to bring that up that it is going to, if you um, put it in water, 
it's going to, you know, eventually break down. Um, I know some people who take their stones and put them in like a colander and put a colander in a nearby river um, and leave them there for a while. You wouldn't want to do that. Um, you wouldn't want to put it in a bowl of water and leave it for a long period of time. Uh, like a little bit of water is really not going to bother it, but again, just you don't need to clear it. It's it's selenite. It's self-clearing. Um, so... Um, and so yeah and the other thing I wanted to mention is it only comes in the one color there's not different colors there's a lot of different stones um, that come in like aventurine you can get green aventurine and red aventurine and um, the jaspers and all those things come in all different kinds of colors selenite is just um, the clear white kind of color that you see all right so with that I wanted to show you a couple of different types of selenite um, that I have morning Cindy thanks for popping on um, so like I said this is a larger one that I use for clearing people um, because like I said it's a nice good size if you want to clear somebody um, if I had just a little because you can get little teeny ones um, I don't know if I can grab that one. Um, I should have grabbed it before I sat down, but um, this is a good size for clearing people or animals or large objects. So putting that down carefully not to break it. <laughs> um, the other things you can get are, um, I'll show you the back side for right now. So this is, um, another shape of the wands you can get. And um, it's pr a pretty popular shape to get in selenite. And um, I have two, one's a little bigger than the other. Size doesn't really matter as far as the um, work of the stone. Um, it just may make a difference of what you want to be doing with it. So like I said, for clearing um, a person or a large object, I have the much bigger um, wand but if you're just going to be using it in a ceremony um, you know it doesn't have to be super big most of the time I don't like my crystals big I like them a little smaller um, I have first of all I have small hands um, and second of all um, it's easier to work with them for me if they're smaller uh, and they're easier to move around if they're smaller um, I don't have a ton of space in my house either so um, I don't want a bunch of big tools but so I will go over a couple of things I've done with these and then I'll go on to another shape and then we'll just get painted get working on our decorating our crystals but like I said I didn't want to just come on and paint I wanted there to be a little bit of education but more so I wanted it to be um, I wanted you to know maybe why you would want to decorate um, your crystal other than it's just fun and cool and relaxing. Um, but a couple of months ago, um, there was a tool set that went out that um, I couldn't, it's not that I couldn't afford it, but it's like, I have a selenite wand. Do I really need another selenite wand? Actually, I, had, I already had a couple selenite wands, so I didn't really want to buy another selenite wand. Um, but in that particular ritual, it was a selenite wand that was engraved with a, a beautiful feather on it. Um, and I'm like, well, I cannot engrave a selenite. <laughs> I do not have that talent. Um, but then I thought, what better thing if I wanted to be using a selenite wand for um, moon rituals is what better way is than to have the moons on them. So I had um, some moon flash tattoos that I had bought and I put those right on there. Now you could have gone further and decorated it. Morning Lynette, thanks for watching. Um, you could have gone further and um, maybe put glitter, rhinestones, um, anything you wanted on it. I could have actually glued a feather to it 
um, but I didn't really want to do that. Um, I wanted it to be something that would be a little easier to maneuver around with. Um, I tend to err on the side of simplicity. Um, so my tools are usually pretty simple. Um, my tools don't tend to be super fancy or glittery or extravagant. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just not my style. Um, but again, so I just put the nice moon flash tattoos on there and uh, trying to get it so you can see it really well. But um, like I said, you could have taken it a step further and, and put glitter or rhinestones or I could have painted this as well. Um, but I like to keep my tools fairly simple. Uh, let me just go, go on here because I want to make sure we do have enough time to paint as well. Um, this was another one we did in a craft. And um, it came with a bunch of different stuff. And uh, a lot of the other girls, girls, and we have some guys in our group as well. Um, they glued whole um, dried flower buds. Um, there was, like I said, there was glitter, rhinestones, um, all kinds of things on them. And they were all very beautiful. Some people put seashells on them. Um, you know, really whatever you want. Um, but again, I tend to be a little bit more on the side of simplicity. So I don't know if you can see here but um, I just glued a very few little pieces of gemstones on there, like some chip stones. And you'll actually see there's a little, few little pieces of herbs that are glued on there as well. And then I just took a piece of fabric that I had and um, a sari ribbon and wound them around to kind of make the handle part to use this tool. So besides it being, like I said, besides it being fun, um, you can make them um, unique to you. You could make them unique to um, something specific that you're using them for. Like I said, if I want to use a, a wand for moon rituals, I would now use this one. Um, like I said, the big one I have is for clearing larger object, objects, people or animals. This one, you know, um, may just be used in a simple ceremony or any kind of circle opening. It would be a good tool for that. Um, but now it's unique to me. You know, this is a tool that if you looked at my other tools, it would fit in. It would look like, yeah, that, that's Julie's. Um, where other people's may have had a lot of pinks or blues or um, purples. Um, they may have had bigger stones. Um, like I said, gl glitter, gemstones, uh, rhinestones, whatever, you know, you feel called to put on there, you certainly go ahead and, and do that. I got one more that I wanted to talk about real quick, um, and then we'll, we'll start getting painted. Um, actually, that's a little bit of a lie, but um, this is another piece of selenite that I have, and it's very hard to show you because it shines so much, but... Um, my intention with this one is um, I'm I'm going to put north, west, northeast, south, and west on each side. So if I want to work with a direction, I can just, you know, if I want to work with the direction of west, I can turn it and, and use that side. Um, so that's going to be my intention with this one. I haven't done it yet. Um, I've been working the last couple weeks on organizing my crystals. So some of my crafting stuff has kind of taken a, a side step here for a few minutes. But um, that was my intention when I bought this one is that I am going to put the four directions. The, the, it shines really pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> Sidetracked. Um, but I'm gonna, um, I probably don't have, won't be able to get flash tattoos that have like the directions on them. Um, so I will probably have to um, somehow paint these freehand, which I'm not real good at that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, 
The other thing is I have talked about selenite, um, but there are certainly, um, that's certainly not the only thing that you can decorate or paint or make your own. Any of your crystals, you can certainly do that as well. Um, so I pulled out just a couple real quick here that I had um, that were fairly flat um, that you could either paint on or put a flash tattoo on. So the other idea that I want to do is um, Athena has flash tattoos of the runes. And so I was thinking about getting some of those and then... Um, if I want to work with a particular rune, I could put the flash tattoo on on one of the stones and I would have the stone with the rune on it. Um, you could paint a rune on it. You could paint symbols on it. Um, right now we're working with um, a new design. I just happen to have it here. We're working with, can you see it? It's too bright. Right there, you can kind of see it. It's like a double triangle, kind of looks like an hourglass. So that is the symbol we're working with this month. Oh, it's on my necklace, duh. Um, so if you wanted to work with that symbol more, you could um, paint that on here. Wouldn't that be really pretty, paint it on there? Um, but yeah, you could put um, any kind of symbol. If you wanted to work with the star, the pentagram, or the pentacle, you could paint that on there. Um, the triple goddess you could paint on there. The horned god. Um, I mean symbols are endless. You could, you know, your um, zodiac sign symbols. If you're working with say Mercury or Pluto or a planet you could put the symbols for there on them. If you're working on your Chiron wound maybe I should do that. Um, you could work with the, a stone and paint your Chiron symbol on there. So it's really endless as far as that goes. But then you can just decorate them and just have fun with them as well. Um, so I will show you. This is the one I'm going to be working on today. I paid $9 for this one. So you can see it's a really, it's thick and it's big. And I paid $9 for that. Um, this is the one in the picture for the event that I had already done. And again, you can't see it super great. My lighting apparently today is crappy. Um, but that was a flash tattoo that I started with and then some paint. And um, I have these little chips of aquamarine that I glued on there. So again, it's pretty simple, but that's me. I don't like fancy. I don't like crazy. Um, like I said, other people had rhinestones. Other people had glitter. Other people filled up the whole entire surface with dots. Um, there's again, no right or wrong answer. Make it your own, but don't feel like you need to make it fancy just because everybody else is making theirs fancy and then be like, that's really not me. Because I tend to sometimes fall into that trap. Other people will show their pictures of crafts we've done together. And they're really super fancy. Or they have a lot of stuff on them. And I kind of be like, oh, I should have made that. But then I think back and I'm like, no, because that's not me. I'm simple. I'm easy. I don't like fancy. I don't like pink. I don't like glitter. <laughs> I don't like rhinestones. <laughs> um, I... I like the more natural, easy kind of look. So this is the one we painted together um, in my class a couple of months ago. And the reason I'm doing it today is because when I posted the picture of this, a lot of people were like, oh my God, how did you do that? It's so pretty. So that is what we're going to get into now. So I have this piece of selenite. It doesn't have to be this shape, doesn't have to be this size, um, but it is easier to do with the ones that are um, are smooth or softer um, because it would be very hard to get flash tattoos if you if you want to do that 
on like my big wand. It's kind of more rough. It's rigid. Um, a flash tattoo wouldn't really work on it. You could certainly just paint that if you wanted, or you could glue other things to it if you wanted. Um, but um, I picked one with a, a nice flat surface on it. So some of the things you might want is glue. Um, like I said, you can use rhinestones. You can use glitter. Um, you can use seashells. Um, you can use feathers. You can use um, really anything you want to. I pulled out today some aquamarine and some ocean jasper chipstones. So those are the two I pulled out for today. You're going to want your little dotting tool. And um, I posted a picture of, I posted a link in the event for Amazon for some of these. Um, the cheapest one I found came in a five pack, but it was $3.99. Um, so you probably don't need a five pack. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would need a five pack um, unless you're, I guess, teaching a class. In, in person, but um, you'll see uh, this camera, I have to get used to where it is. Um, it's not gonna show. This ball is very, very small. And then the other side, the ball is a little bit bigger. So you can make two different size dots with that. I have some paint, just a basic little paint set. You can buy pretty much anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, probably even Family Dollar or Dollar General. I don't recommend the paints from Dollar Tree. I've tried those. Um, spend a couple of dollars more and get better paint. All right. Some of the other things I forgot to mention as well is you could actually put like on this one, um, on this one, I actually, um, when I had the glue out, I sprinkled herbs over it and kind of whatever stuck stuck so um you could use herbs you could use um some dried flowers if you wanted um you could even take your flowers and or leaves and make a design if you wanted to do that um you know be creative be crafty and you know but the biggest thing is make it yours um don't make yours look like mine just because you're watching my video um you know if i'm trying to give you lots of examples of things you could do to make it your own i grabbed my whole pack of flash tattoos here um so there are all kinds of different flash tattoos that you could apply like so one of these long ones here would be pretty if you wanted to put it on like one like that and then you could decorate it from there or you could just leave it you know um, you could put a flash tattoo on it you could put the gemstones on it you could wrap it in ribbon you could sprinkle it with glitter it's like that the possibilities are endless um, so just make it your own um, but I'm gonna just show you a couple of, of um, basic things so uh, I did not pick out a flash tattoo I should have done that beforehand so I did mention that selenite um, will break down in water. So one of the things um, that I do with the, with the flash tattoos is when I put them on myself, I get a washcloth and it's sopping wet and I slap the washcloth on there and I hold it there and take the flash tattoo off. I don't do it that way with the selenite just because I don't like to get the selenite um, as wet. Let's see here. I got some moons, but that's too big. Um, let's see. That's a, lots of little pieces. Um, dragonfly. My logo. <laughs> um, I have some trio. Uh, so, sorry, star of life here, but those are too big. They won't fit. Same with my uh, mandalas that I have here are too big. So I have some of these sacred geometry things that are a little closer to probably what I will be using. 
Um, I do have some butterfly ones that are really pretty, but again, I think they're they're too big to fit on the top of those. I have some smaller ones that I could probably put on there and decorate around it, but I'm not really crazy about the orange or the green, which happens to be why these are I still have these because orange and green are really not my color. But my granddaughter comes over all the time and always wants. Um, Mimi's tattoos so <laughs> these little pieces that I don't use um, <laughs> I save them all because um, those are usually her little tattoos that she picks out um, let's see yeah. yeah I have a couple other things here um, those are more band things um, like that that's very very pretty but that's not gonna go for what I'm looking for today um, have, I don't even know what that is and then more of my own little logos here so I could put my logo on one but we'll, we'll I'll save that for another day I put all my logos on the crystals and sell them. All right, so I'm gonna go with one of the Seiko Geometry ones. Um, I'm just not quite sure which one yet. No, I don't want to make this an all-day thing. So um, I'm going to pick the one that's already cut out. My new camera, I'm not sure where I got to hold things for you guys to see them. Um, so I have some scissors and I'm just going to cut around the tattoo is, I don't want to say as closely as I can because I could get closer, but I want to make it fairly close. I'll show you after. Um, I would be the one that would accidentally cut the tattoo itself. All right, so as you can see, hopefully, there's a little bit of space around it, but I've cut it fairly close. I don't have a lot of extra on there. All right, so this is where I'm going to, I think, try to move you guys down <laughs> and not drop you. If I drop you, hold on, I will fix you. <laughs> Still getting used to moving the camera around. I got too much stuff on my, my space today. All right, so I'm gonna move you down. you're seeing is my fat belly um, I need you to see the workspace a little bit more here all right excuse my um my belliness <laughs> try not to show you my belly if I lean forward scoop my, scoop my little bench in it's on wheels, but it's on the carpet, so it doesn't work very well. All right, so you have your selenite or your crystal, whatever crystal you have picked. Um, and I'm gonna start with a flash tattoo. Um, again, you don't need to start with a flash tattoo. You can just go freehand if you want to. Um, that's just really not my thing. I'm not um, super artistic as far as painting goes. So by having the flash tattoo, I have a little bit of a, a base to kind of go off. So I'm going to peel off the top. Now it's stuck to me. And I'm going to just kind of try to get it centered here the best I can. Just push it down. And so what I have done is um, I have a little glass here. And it's got water in it. And I have a Q-tip. And... I'm going to just 
it kind of does take a minute but you'll see it's it's uh, I don't know how well you can see but it is soaking through the paper just trying to hold it down with my finger to make sure it doesn't move I don't think it's gonna move too much but <clears throat> better safe than sorry and again I don't use like I said if you if I was applying this flash tattoo to myself I would just get a soaking wet um, washcloth and slob it on there but this is selenite and selenite doesn't really like water so instead of getting it completely soaking wet I am trying to apply the tattoo um, with the water that is needed but not use any more water than necessary if you were doing this on a different kind of stone um, you could certainly use the washcloth and just going to kind of go over it a few times now I've every time I've done this before it has worked but just because I'm doing this on live video it probably will not work today All right. All right. So very carefully lift it up. Make sure that the um, tattoo is staying down. If it didn't, then you just want to apply a little bit more water. All right, so my tattoo is down. I'm just gonna kind of go over it just real lightly around the edges. Make sure that's gonna stay down there. Again, uh, not a lot of water. That's it. That was it for the water. Um, you're gonna want maybe the water around for um, your painting tool as well. So, done with the Q-tips. All right, so step one is done for me. I have now got, oops, now the camera's in a different place. So now I have got the flash tattoo on there for you. So then you're going to take your paints and, um, as much as I was like, I really want to do a different color, um, I'm going to stick with blue because blue is, blue is my jam. All right. If I can get it open, my heavens. All right. And then you're going to take your dotting tool and I'm going to use the bigger dot size. And I'm going to just start. I'm hoping I have enough time to do the whole thing with you guys today, but um, if not, then because um, I got about 15 minutes left, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this all in 15 minutes. Um, taking my glasses off because when I do closer up work, I can't can't see with those on. I need them for my computer. Um, so I'm just going to follow the line. You don't need to follow the line. You can put the dots wherever you want them to. Um, so I think I'm going to save those uh, and put some my little chip stones in there. I hope everybody can see all right. I, I, I can't see now because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what you're seeing. But it, it looks like you can see my selenite fairly well. And I'm just going around the ring. Let's see. Can you see? I'm just going around the ring with the dots right now. And again, um, don't have to do it this way. Make it your own. Put the dots wherever you want. Use whatever colors you want. 
Uh, you don't have to use any. You could just put the flash tattoo on it and call it good like I did with my um, the moon phase wand. I put the, the flash tattoo of the moon phase on it and that felt like it was good to me. So I just left it just like that. Again, um, if you're somebody who likes lots of color, you like lots of texture on things, um, you like to use glitter, rhinestones. Um, now, like you could even just, <laughs> if you wanted, um, you could put a thin layer of glue, like use a brush and put a thin layer of glue and then sprinkle it with like sugar or salt or um, anything like that and just kind of give it a, a snowy kind of a look. Um, again, you know, the, the possibilities are really only up to your imagination of what it's going to look like. I didn't get this quite centered, but that's okay. I've got a little less space on this side than I do on this side. But I'm not perfect, so my um, paint job is not going to be perfect either. All right, so I've done the blue around the outside. Uh, usually nearby, I've usually got some sort of tissue and some sort of um, wet wipes because when you get when we get working with um, the essential oils and stuff, you will most likely want some sort of wet wipe. <laughs> around as well um so i did the blue on the blue line not very um original here but i think i'm gonna just stick with doing that there's a red circle inside so i think i'm gonna do the red dots on the red circle And just kind of follow um, the design of the flash tattoo. This is like watching paint dry, right? <laughs> How exciting to watch me paint a bunch of little dots. So I've done the red on the little red part of the circle and um, I'm going to switch over. Uh, the inside lines are gold. I'm not going to do them gold, I don't think. Um, I think I'm going to do the outside line. I just have to make sure I'm watching my time here because I don't want to go over too much. We've got about 10 minutes left. All right. I don't want to rush, but I um, don't want to take up too much time just doing dots either if if I have to skip a step I'll have to skip a step well I didn't skip a step but if I don't have to if I don't get time to finish the step I'm going to do the outside line in white and when I started the video this morning I mean I knew what I was going to do I knew I was going to be painting um, a crystal I knew I was going to be using a flash tattoo but I didn't know which tattoo I knew I was going to be using my uh, little tool here and my paint um, but I didn't really know what my design was going to look like or anything so I'm just going with what feels right I'm not putting an awful lot of thought into it um, which is hard for me because I tend to be the person who has everything planned out like 30 steps um, in advance <laughs> um, so uh, this is a test for me or not a test, I guess a lesson for me on um, just kind of going with the flow and trusting my intuition and uh, not feeling like I need to be in constant control of the situation. It's like with these videos, um, I when I first started doing them, like I had planned out like, sorry, my alarm. I had planned out um, 
like what I was going to do for like a, a month or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I had planned out all these videos and, um, it would get close to the day and I'm like, that's not what we're supposed to be talking about. And so at the last minute I would be changing things and, um, moving things around and then trying to figure out, well, if I don't talk about this here, where am I going to talk about it? And all these things. And it was causing me anxiety. It was causing me stress. Um, so, um, but like I said, I'm a planner. I wanted to know like my videos for the whole year <laughs> and it's like, mm, it's not going to work that way. And this scenario, um, sorry, I feel like you're just looking at my boobs now, but, um, it's not going to work that way in this scenario. I'm going to switch over to the yellow. I did the outside um, in white and I'm going to work on the inside in yellow. Um, I got to paint and talk here. Um, but yeah, I um, would then be all discombobulated because um, I'm like, nope, that's, that's not what we're supposed to talk about. And I can't tell you where that information comes from besides that it's in my head and it just seems like it's right. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to work on trusting as well. Um, that when I get those feelings or um, that like this isn't right or this is what we need to be doing, that I listen to that. And so I kind of gave up the planning. Um, so if you go back and watch my older videos, um, a lot of times you'll hear me say, I don't know what we're talking about in the next video. <laughs> and it's not because I didn't care. It's not because I was trying to wing it or throw things together at the last minute. Um, it was because I, I did try to plan things out and um, spirit, divine, God, goddess, whatever you want to call it would be like, nope, nope, that's, that's not what's going to happen today. <laughs> And, um, so I stopped planning, which is really, really hard for me. Um, but with these videos, I do have to plan to some degree because, um, I want to make sure that, you know, like with this one, I put the links up for Amazon for you to buy, um, any of the materials that maybe you would need, um, so that if you wanted to do this sooner than later you could you could have those items so i do try to plan a little bit as far as our classes go as far as like if we're going to be crafting or doing something together that um like last week we did a despacho which i had a lot of fun with i love making despachos if i had didn't have to go to work every day. I would spend my whole day doing all of these things. I would paint crystals. I would make despachos. I would cover my crystals in flash tattoos. Um, <laughs> now that line is a little different, so I'm going to wait and maybe use a different color there. And so what I've done here um, is I've just taken the the flash tattoo and really just kind of emphasized it with the colors. All right, so I've got the white, I've got red. Um, I have not used green or black. Um, so maybe we'll take green. can't get the covers open which is good because that means the paints will stay longer but not when you're trying to do this on live tv <laughs> all right so the green i'm going to just go on this outer line here Trying to rush a little bit, um, just to make sure I get it done here. 
my green dots are getting a little messy here, sorry. Need to slow down just a tad. Green paint doesn't want to cooperate. It's a little gloopy. So it is Thursday, so the weekend's coming up, so I'm excited about that. I don't really have much planned this weekend, which is perfectly fine with me. I want to finish up working on my crystal organization project. I am photographing them, organizing them with the cards, organizing the cards by alphabet, and then writing them all in a notebook that I can take with me. Um, totally missed that line. That's what happens when you're blind. Oh, well. So, um, there's a last little bit in there that I'm going to go in real quick and do with the black. This is probably not very exciting for you if you're not doing it with me. <laughs> um, but I just want to show you that you can incorporate all the colors. Um, you can make it your own. You don't need to follow any rules or um, certain way of doing anything. Um, just really make it your own. Oh, those are big globs. All right, the green didn't want a glob at all. And now the black is giving me big globs. And that's how it goes. Just again to show that I am not the one in control. <laughs> all right, put the covers back on tightly. Make sure they're all back on tightly. Wipe off my little tool here make sure it doesn't have any paint on there to dry all right so we have um painted all of the dots on there so it's just really emphasized the flash tattoo and i gotta get used to how to make this thing work here and um Just making the colors kind of pop and stand out but again you can you can go crazy you don't have to stay on the lines um, you can change it up on my other one I did just a little teeny um, you know on the outside I just put a little dot here and then see here I put little dots so I did add a little bit to this one outside the lines but it wasn't a lot Again, I'm not the one to go lots of colors and bling and fancy and all of that stuff. So, um, that's just not my style. Glue. Glue and I do not have the best relationship. I tend to make a mess with it. I tend to get it all over the place. Um, sometimes, be forewarned, there is swearing involved. <laughs> Um, I bought a huge bottle, um, or tube, not bottle. I bought a huge tube of glue and, um, no matter what I do with it after, as soon as I use it and I put it away, I can't use it again. It dries up on me. So what I have done is I buy these little tubes <laughs> and then if it dries up on me, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to use, um, just because I used my aquamarine last time, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, ocean jaspers this time. I'm really drawn to the aquamarine, um, but uh, I feel like I really want something a little different. So glasses off again because I can't see. And so I'm going to just put a little dot of glue inside each one of those little circles that was on the flash tattoo. So that's it for my glue. Yep, I opened a whole tube of glue for just that. <laughs> that's how it goes. But like I said, glue dries up on me really fast uh, for some reason. And so um, 
those littler tubes seem to be better for me. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of looking for some that are not um, not overly long per se, more of a round. More of a round design than like oblong. And I'm just going to place them. Probably a set of tweezers would have been good for this, but um, I'm not getting up to get them. If I was doing this on my own, I probably would. I would probably go get some tweezers, but as I'm doing this live, I don't want you to just sit here while I go to the down to the bathroom and get tweezers. So I'm using the Ocean Jasper, but I'm kind of quick picking out the <laughs> blue colored ones just because I do like my blue. And again, you could cover the whole thing in chipstones if you wanted. You not use any paint um, or you could put the chipstones first and then paint around them after mm, you know like I said there's really no really no right or wrong way here that looks like a good one just trying to kind of get ones that are similar color Now they're all getting pretty small here. There's one. Oh, it's going to be a test to find the last one here. There's a brown one there. Oh, there's one. It's not really blue. It's not really brown. It's got a little bit of both in there. We'll take that guy. Now the trick is to get these back from my hand, back into the bag, without making a huge mess. Not that you guys need to be live for this part, but <laughs> crafting can be messy. Alright, and I missed a bunch, so I will pick those up after. Let me put my glasses back on first here. And let me put you guys back up here so you're not staring at my stomach and my boobs. <laughs> All right, move my hair. I had to put my hair back because it was, when my head down, it was falling in my face. All right, so, how am I gonna show this? I'm gonna figure out this camera. I need it blurry. Come on, camera. Farther back a little. All right, well, you guys get the idea of that. And so that was really simple. Um, you know, it's a little bit time consuming, but uh, I think when you're crafting, it kind of should be a little time consuming. I'm trying to get it to focus on it, but it's it doesn't want to. I will take a picture of it anyway and get it posted for you because it just does not want to pick it up. Unless it's like way back here, which is not that great for you guys to see it. But I will take a picture. I'll take a picture right now and get that up on the event camera. It's actually pretty. And that when you see all the colors, the camera picks it up pretty good. I'm thinking, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm thinking in the middle, I might find a gemstone that's just a tad bit bigger than these chipstones. Um, 
and, and put it in the middle because the middle feels like it needs something. So maybe a little bit bigger of a gemstone than, than the chipstones themselves. Uh, but uh, I will find some little thing and put it on there to finish that off. Uh, it feels like it still needs a little something, but, um, but we're out of time. So um, if you have any questions, you have any comments, um, you want you know to share, if you paint something, share it, please. Um, I'm working every day on making this group more interactive. Um, so it's not just me posting stuff. I want you guys to be feel like you can post stuff, um, post your crafts, post your ideas, uh, post your questions. Um, and um, because, you know, if you have a question, chances are somebody else has a question just like it or, or pretty similar to it. And, um, you know, so by asking it and getting the answer for yourself, you might be helping somebody else as well, too. So, um, you know. Feel free to make it interactive. I love it when I go in and see that somebody else has posted in the group. Um, it, it makes me pretty happy to know that other people are posting in there besides just me. Um, my only feedback on that, which um, <laughs> is going to be um, no memes, please, unless they're informational. If you got memes about herbs and crystals and rituals and... Um, you know, if it has some sort of information on it, memes all the way, but, um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I love some memes. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I hate to go into a group and stroll and scroll through for 30 minutes and see nothing but, um, cat videos and memes. Um, I love them just as much as the next person, but, um, that's, I don't want to go into a group and see just that. And so I want to keep this group. If somebody needs information, if somebody's looking for an answer, um, they know they can come here and they're not going to have to scroll through um, a bunch of memes. If you want to post memes on your personal page, I will check them out there and uh, we'll laugh at them and giggle at them and um, be funny with you. But please not in this group. But if there is a meme that is informational, um, please share. Questions, share. Um, share, 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 except for memes. <laughs> okay? That is like my only, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't say my only rule because, you know, we have to be polite. We have to be kind. Um, you can differ in opinions and you can have conversations that differ in opinion as long as you're not getting into the I'm right and you're wrong kind of um, argument. Um because you will hear me say a million times in all my videos, there really is no right or wrong way when it comes to this stuff. Um, go by your own intuition and your own feelings. So again, I've already run over. So um, I love you guys. And if you have any questions or comments or anything, certainly let me know. Um, you're not bugging me. People say that all the time. Sorry to bother you. You're not bothering me. This is what I do this for. Um, this makes me feel good that I can help people. Um, I don't charge anybody for anything, um, unless you buy one of my products, um, I don't charge. So, um, I know a lot of people do charge for services, um, for guidance, for card readings, for all that stuff. Um, I don't feel like that's my purpose is to make money off you guys. Um, it, I'm here to help, um, and I'm not going to make money off that from you. So, um, lots of love. I will see you guys on Monday for our weekly um, video forecast and have an awesome weekend. Remember, be kind. Your kindness could not only change your day, someone else's day, or potentially change someone else's life. So love you. You guys are awesome. Bye.